that you used to date Lamar Odom. That no, rumor. I never dated Lamar Odom. So this is, I hate that rumor. So that, that's a complete rumor. Complete rumor. I went to lunch with him and like three people one time. That was okay. not a date. Never. So this whole thing about you got into some argument with Chloe and all this other type <laughs> no, of stuff? No, never. Chloe and I were on Celebrity Apprentice uh, season two and we were cool. I used to hang with Kim. I feel like people so want to catfight, like they'll just take anything and run with it. I met Lamar Odom a few times. He, um, how we even have each other's numbers because he had a, uh, there was a fundraiser for this little kid that had cancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, my publicist at the, at the time told me to go, I went. And um, I took some money out the ATM, put an envelope, left it for the kid. The parents reached out to me a few weeks later and they said they never got the money. So I found a way to get a hold of Lamar and I'm like, I just sent him a text. Hey dude, uh, this could go really bad. So please make sure the money gets to, you know, maybe it's your people or whatever so we don't all look bad. I don't even know if he responded, but we had each other's numbers after that. Uh, fast forward to years later, when he's now a Laker, and I'm going into a restaurant, my friend, he's like, oh, there's Lamar Odom, you know, we all say what's up, and we chit chat inside for a few minutes, and then I went outside, I was at valet, and he comes up to me when I'm in valet, and he just like starts, you know, talking with me. But TMZ's right there, and I'm cracking up laughing. You can look at the clip. Mm -hmm. So I said, all right, we went back towards the restaurant, because I don't want to talk to him on camera like that, because I thought it would cause rumors to be made, which they were. And then he says, wouldn't it be funny if I, like, you left with a bunch of flowers? I'm like, ha ha, funny, yeah. So he just bought all the flowers and gave it to me, so I left. And, I mean, we chatted a couple times. It was very surface. It was very, like, it wasn't about anything. Mm -hmm. And then one day he's like, oh, I'm here, you know, come through for lunch. I went through. We said, what's up? It was really nothing. And then a few days later, he was out with Chloe. And it looked like he dropped me for Chloe or whatever. But we never, I never, I have never kissed Lamar Odom, not even on the cheek, nothing. We said goodbye at the restaurant. It was like a bunch of people. I paid my own food. It wasn't even a date. And not saying he's cheap or anything. It's just that I just went inside and just took care of it. Mm -hmm. Like it was, I have, you know, I have friends, guys, girls, never dated Lamar Odom. And I clarify this on TMZ already once. But it's a rumor that just, if you're seen with like a basketball player or an athlete, they just assume like there's no way you didn't. I'm like, really? It takes more than that to be interested in someone. There, there was something about, something about your ex-husband's ex at a, at a Drake party or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. What, what exactly happened with that? Uh, I was assaulted at a party. I mean, just... You were assaulted by your ex-husband's ex-girlfriend? Yeah. At a, at a Drake yeah. party? And I didn't fight back. I'm grown, I'm, you know, late 30s, knocking on 40s door, and if someone's gonna assault me, then they'll just have to deal with the authorities, and that's what I did. I went to the police, and um, she was arrested, so... Oh, okay. You yeah. pressed charges? Yeah, I did. Well, what happened to her, ultimately? Um, she was arrested, went to... She got brought in, and she got out, and it was supposed to be some kind of mediation, and... I didn't really follow through with it, but, yeah. That chapter of my life, like, I really want that to be over because it caused a lot of, like, issues, you know? Like, people make mistakes and uh, gotta learn from them and move on, you know? I mean, are you and your ex-husband still friends, or is it pretty much... We hadn't spoken for three years, and I ran into him recently. We, I said, look, can we just squash everything, please? I Like, the rumors on the internet, like, all those rumors, like... Please, let's just squash all of it. Like, I'm tired of hearing every single week that I'm with the new guy because you're still mad at me. So we had a long talk, and hopefully there'll be no more rumors about any random person I take a picture with. Like, I, I got this home wrecker, uh, you know, reputation from rumors. Mm -hmm. And if anyone that knows me knows that that, you know, that absolutely pisses me off. Like, I'm still not that chick. You know, like, if a guy hits on me that's married, it pisses me off. It really makes me angry. I slapped someone one time over it. <laughs>